Welcome back to Moonstreams. One out of two Celestial Gamers here with a video where I make a big lake. I think I might make another playlist on our channel called Winging It because that's essentially what I did here today. I have this big open space that I really, um, I wanted to just fill up. Like, it is way too big. It used to be a neighborhood for my villagers. I used to want all of my villagers to be, like, in one spot, like, kind of like a neighborhood or, like, a subdivision. But I'm over that, and I am spreading out my villagers again and giving them their own space. So first thing, I'm just going to go ahead and start like speed building where I'm going to kind of carve out the lake. I'm going to do like a like an outline of where I want it to be and where it's going to sort of wrap around. In this part of the video, I wanted to give Kiki kind of like a little island in the middle of the lake. And it started out really good in my head when I was getting going. But for some reason, when I started looking in the background, I really wanted that sort of Twin Peaks lake sort of view where, you know, it just goes on or at least you see trees in the background. And all I saw was Kiki's, Kiki's house. So. I kind of abandoned that idea because I just wanted a cleaner look. This is the exact moment where I decided I didn't want Kiki to be in this space anymore. So I'm actually really excited to do this big lake because this is going to be sort of a, a pretty big centerpiece technically for my island. I don't have something like very grandiose or um, eye-catching. It's usually very like cluttery around my island or very tight, I suppose, like a lot of trees because that's what my theme is going to be now is very woodland and I'm like planting so many cedar trees around that this is going to be like a big wide open space and I don't know, it's just going to look very uh, different than the rest of my island. On an unrelated note about Animal Crossing, I decided to actually do this video because I I feel like I've been having a hard time lately with like burnout with my job and with you know just general interests. I just feel like I go to work and I come back home and it's really hard to sort of get excited about things anymore when you have such a rigid routine like that because of COVID and the where I live it's like pretty it's like a hot spot state so it's like extra taboo to like do anything remotely fun or you know socialize and where I live you can't really do anything fun without like throwing money at it okay all right it is time to get Kiki out of here because like I said it just looks like an eyesore and I decided to put her in the woods So tonight I decided to do more self-care and what that looks like for me is I basically, I decided, hey, it's inauguration day, a start of a new era politically and I am just dying for some Chick-fil-A. So I went ahead and went and got Chick-fil-A. Uh, I usually get a spicy chicken sandwich. It's my favorite. I'm very specific about my condiments. If anyone knows me, I'm kind of disgusting when it comes to condiments. I 
Luguna spicy chicken sandwich. I'll ask for two buffalo sauces, two Polynesian sauces to dip with the french fries, and two mayo packets. So that is usually my order. I don't usually get a drink at Chick-fil-A. I don't like soda or lemonade from there. I always feel like I get acid reflux from their lemonade. It's very, there's something about it. Then when I got home, I showered and I usually never shower like right when I get home. I usually like do other things, either take a nap or watch TV for hours. And then I take a shower usually in the evening. But I ended up taking a shower first thing and I feel like I need to do it more often because I feel so much better. I reapplied hair dye on my hair. So now the bottom of my hair is red again, like very ruby red. I use my exfoliator for my face so I can, you know, I just noticed my skin was getting really rough and kind of bumpy. Then I knew that this night would all be about my podcasts. Every Wednesday and Thursday, I just get bombarded with my favorite podcasts. Everyone posts around Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So I am just like back to back listening to my favorite podcasts like the H3 podcast. I listen to Chatty Broads and I listen to my guilty pleasure is Office Ladies. And I, I truly only listen to that one. I feel like I only listen to that one because I don't even know what I could say. I don't really like that The Office is being milked for every penny it's made or any penny that it's worth. It really bothers me when the celebrities like do little cameos of their character like on a commercial or for some Super Bowl little thing or something where, you know, you kind of know it when you see it. You were in the office, it was great, now it's over, I don't want to see it anymore from you. Like, I feel like that's a very, I guess, harsh sort of thing, but I find it so cringy when office actors kind of embody their character years after just because it's getting popular again so yeah i'm thinking i'm gonna make this like the island i guess that you would see in the background i don't want to fill it with too many trees i do want it to look kind of like an infinity river or an infinity lake but it just with like a, a small accent in the middle of with trees and maybe something illuminating in the middle you know it'd be a great place to put a nova light if I had one, you know. Just know that um, Elizabeth from Moonstreams is uh, simping after a Nova Light. If anyone can spare a DIY or even just one Nova Light, let me know because your girl is stuck just throwing um, star fragments everywhere. And it just looks so lame. When I go to other islands or when I see other islands on, online, they have these awesome Nova lights that make it look so much more defined and I guess dignified. And that's just what I want. Like I want that aesthetic for my island. I want like stars, woods, rocks, which is very mystical. And slap these flowers down. My favorite flowers in the game are the purple roses and the black tulips and the white mums. Like that's what I usually have on my island. It looks the best in my opinion with the snow. And can I just say I'm really sick of the snow. Like the snow needs to stop. Then the snow boys, I can I feel like I can never make a new or good enough snowman to get a DIY. So I don't even know what the point is anymore. But anyway, right now I'm putting down some QR codes because I really don't want these um, flowers to grow and like fill up the island. I kind of like it to be like spare, like sparse and more, I guess, calculated looking. And I'm wondering if there's like a transparent QR that people put down around their flowers so you can still see the green grass or the the snow or something but there's no design like 
and you can like stunt your flower growth. I wonder if that's actually a thing. Let me know. Okay, it's about that time. I think I'm pretty much done. So this is the part of the video where I love to, you know, take some pictures of what I just did and take pictures of me. I'm always learning how like to do the best poses with the camera and I need to reorganize like my reactions because I just like have anything just anywhere. So it takes forever to even find some. I need to get like my favorite ones and put it in that little circle. Oh my God, look at that clip. It is in the way and now I have to go ahead and bulldoze it. Like I can't take a proper picture of my lake with a rock in the way. Look at that thing ugly no it looks even worse even with the camera for some reason i thought it'd go away all right so i think this is it and again this is me just winging it i kind of just built a lake i don't know what else to say it's just a big hole in the ground with water in it and this is i guess my moment to say thanks for watching again on moon streams if you wanted to follow us on instagram we're constantly posting pictures of like more stuff that we do on our island. If you like this video, go ahead and like and subscribe. This video was made in the tight corners of my very own closet. I made more effort for sound quality and also I'm using a new software to try to make my audio more crisp. Let me know what you think of the audio and I'll see you next time to decorate the lake.